Lindsay, tell me about James Mission. We started James Mission in June of 2013, a month after we started um, fostering and realized that there's many resources that aren't available for foster families. Um, the donations kept coming in for us personally for our kids. We got an excess amount. So I started spreading the word of, hey, do you guys need this? Do you need that? Um, and then just people started donating um, items like clothing, toys, shoes, cribs, swings, um, pack and plays, things like that that you don't really think about until you get a child. And it kind of has grown from there. Um, I have an MBA. I was laid off and thought, what better way to do is start, start a ministry. And so we kind of started doing that. Um, it's been a lot lately of raising awareness and going to different churches and events and speaking and raising awareness um, for the need for foster families. Um, we not only help just foster families, we help the biological parents that may be getting their kids back. A lot of times they don't have the resources they need. And there's not a lot of options out there for them to help gain items like beds and clothing and toys and high chairs and car seats. So we help provide that for them. Um, we also help anybody in need, whether it's, you know, because you're financially in hardship uh, to those who maybe have lost things in a fire. We've helped a lot of families lately that have had house fires and lost everything. So, you know, we're not just about um, the foster families and the kids, but we're there to help pretty much anybody within our community that needs help and help and guide them to find the resources and support them. Lisa Jones, Broken Arrow Ledger.